It's that time of the year. CES is here and this year, well, it's not in Vegas like normal and I can't stress enough how truly happy I am about that. So news is coming out thick and fast from Digital CES 2021. I say digital because it's not a physical event and I'm genuinely excited about that. Anyone who's been to Las Vegas more than uh, once will know exactly where I'm coming from. It sucks. What doesn't suck though is Nvidia announcing the RTX 3060 graphics card, bringing cinematic graphics and real-time ray tracing to even more consumers. What does suck is that even though the MSRP is set to a very cool 329 US dollars, you do kind of have to ask if we will actually, firstly, ever see them at that price, and secondly, based on how things have been, I mean, are we ever actually going to see them at all? It's a mystery. While a few of Nvidia's AIBs followed on from the announcement, nothing really stood out in terms of new designs, and you should expect to see the same custom designs as per the other members of the RTX 3000 family. With 12GB of GDDR6, it does kind of make you wonder, who is this actually aimed at? As the RTX 3060 Ti only has 8GB of GDDR6, but does have 4,864 CUDA cores compared to the 3,584 cores on the 3060. It just seems like someone somewhere got something a little bit wrong here. Or maybe AMD kind of brought them a bit more in line, and we should potentially see a 3060 Super or similar in the future. Who knows? N Nvidia know, clearly. What we will start seeing in the future, however, is Z590 boards. But while the designs are cool, some will kind of ask, you know, is it a little bit too late for Intel? After the strides at least that AMD have taken recently. When it comes to specific boards, MSI were very quick out the gate with a whole host of boards from the MEG, MPG, MAG, and Pro range. Yes, I know my alphabet. Featuring 10G Super LAN, aluminium backplates, Froza AI cooling for quick adjustments of cooling on the fly, there really does kind of seem to be something for everyone. Let's just hope they aren't super, super expensive. Gigabyte were also eager to show off their boards with some pretty extreme features, such as an advanced power design that can deliver up to a whopping 2,100 amps of power through a 20 plus one phase design. Really? Are you sure that's not a typo? Wow. Now, while this does sound impressive, you do have to wonder what the new Rocket Lake CPUs are gonna do. Take off, maybe? To the moon! One board that actually really took my eye was the Z590 Dark from EVGA. It just looks, frankly, mental. With a brand new design that's been engineered from the ground up, a 10-layer PCB, and a stonking 22-phase power delivery, you're kinda left asking, what doesn't it have? Full support for PCI Express Gen 4 graphics cards and NVMe drives, and the typical two dim slot design aimed at extreme overclockers. We're sure to see this board showing up on HWBot leaderboards in the very near future. While Nvidia and Intel were having their fun, so was AMD announcing both Ryzen 5000 mobile CPUs as well as Threadripper Pro to the masses. Zen 3 is due to be hitting the laptop market, giving amazing performance, improved battery life, and much, much more to pretty much all kinds of users. For gamers, you'll be seeing similar frame rate increases that we saw on the desktop CPU parts, and for professionals and creators, you'll get blistering fast single and multi-threaded performance with up to eight cores and 16 threads, and boost speeds of up to 4.8 gigahertz. From a laptop. This is pretty next level stuff. AMD also announced Threadripper Pro processors would now be available directly to the consumers starting in March 2021. With up to 64 cores and 128 threads on the flagship 3995WX now being available to directly buy it as a consumer. I hate to think what price it's going to be scalped for. I'm sold for. I keep getting that one wrong. Damn it, Andy. But do you know what is sold at a reasonable price? the E-Technics cable organizer bags. Whether you're looking for somewhere to store your cables or even devices such as iPads or cameras, available in two sizes and various colors, you'll never leave home without it. Obviously, once lockdown lifts and, you know, we can leave our homes. Get yours on store.etechnics.com or by clicking the link in the description below. 